wrapping that ineptitude into the question is if you're Sean Payton or Jim Harbaugh and you're two of the more coveted coaches this coaching cycle, is that a job you're seriously going to consider? No. Like, uh, you know, Sean Payton said it on, on the Fox set. What matters most to you? Ownership. Mm. Well, the ownership for the Texans is awful, right? Yep. It's awful. Cal McNair is now basically just inherited his dad's billions in business. Um, finally, they got Jack Easterby out of there. I had no idea what the hell he ever did uh, for the Houston Texans. It's kind of like that uh, Ernie McAdams uh, when when Art Modell said, can someone explain to me what Ernie McAdams does for the Cleveland Browns when the Bill Belichick <laughs> was the head coach? Like nobody knew. Well, what did Jack Easterby do? Not sure, but he said, God bless a lot. So yeah, there you go. Um, why would Sean, with all the options open to Sean Payton, A, stay in TV, make a lot of money and have a cushy job. B, yep. potentially figure out Russell Wilson in Denver. C, Sean McVay may be leaving the Rams. And who knows if Brandon Saley's coming back. Like all of those options are better than taking over the Houston Texans who are talent deficient. And they, they're going to get a quarterback in this draft. But it, as we've shown from the Jets, it's not just about drafting a quarterback high. It's drafting the right quarterback The right high. one. Yep. Absolutely. You got to draft the right one. Okay. Mitchell Trubisky was taken ahead of Patrick Mahomes. That's just, you know, and you know, those these things are these things are truisms. So it's great <laughs> to have a high draft pick and use it on a quarterback if you get the right one. Uh, uh, <clears throat> otherwise, you're in the spin cycle that we find the Jets in every other season.